The following video is a part of the whole home networking series. Click the little I for more information. Are you a gamer that wants better performance from yourself? Get yourself a pair of gamer glasses from NoScope and win like a pro. Check the link in the description for more information. Hey guys, so this is, um, I'm recording this on Friday, um, you probably understand where, when and ish, the, the, when this was, because, uh, if you look through my Twitter feed, NWV Master Chief. So, got the internet all set up as you've seen in the last video, everything's working right, all my routers are working right, but that's the speed on one of my cables. We're supposed to have... 35. 30 down, 5 up. If I go to my grandfather's computer that's connected straight to the router, that is 36 down and 6 up. So, what that means is that one of the cables, one of the copper pieces is broken. So, I get to go and repatch a internet cable. So, follow me along this journey. For part three of the wonderful internet fix video. Thanks. All right, so if you didn't see the pictures that I posted, I essentially have a Cat6, I believe I bought the Cat6A um, cable running all the way up and over into here. Go ahead and just unlock that real fast. And that, my friend, let me grab the uh, power cable for this light. <sighs> we can plug it in. Ta-da! Okay. And then that would be the rest of the cable. But, I know that it's not that. That there's no kink in that line. And that this is a problem right here. Because there's nothing wrong right here. There's nothing bent. However, right here is probably what happened right here. Because this door, whenever it closes, let me go ahead and show you, it crunches that cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut probably back to here on the cable, add a new um, connector, crimp it down and then uh, just essentially run it to the uh, router and see what kind of speeds we're getting. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the part where I'm starting to cut and crimp and stuff. Alright, now to the careful observer. You can see that obviously this is crimped all together and um, again I'm back on my iPhone so the camera quality may or may not be increased really trying to focus guys really trying to focus in there we go so as you can again may or may not be able to see it's crimped and I have it cut the best I can um, so that it will easily plug in uh, to the port um, for the router but as anyone can kind of figure out just by running it back through the same port or same hole into the room that's not going to fix anything. It's not going to uh, change anything. So what we have to do is devise a plan that can get it to run through the door. However, it shouldn't um, interfere anyway with the door. Now, if I close the door, I mean, it's completely sealed on the top and on the bottom, unlike in my room. So, it's completely sealed. So if we do not want this room to be closed, then we can leave it open. But, if we want the cable to not get crimped in here, it's essentially you can't not close the door. So, Essentially, you won't be able to ever close this door. So, 
so I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem, but you also can't open the door any further. Oh, actually, you can open the door further because that's better. Um, but all the stuff back here, well, that was back here, you can't have back there. So essentially, the door would have to be kept at an angle like this. So I'm not sure how I think about that. Uh, it'll, it's going to have to work. So let me go ahead and run the cable and unkink it from everything that... I'm going to try to squeeze in here. Let me try and get it unkinked because this is a mess. So wish me luck, guys. Um, and I'll be back with you guys for you in a second. I mean, possibly an hour. Remember the whole thing where I had to cut and crimp all that? So it was a great educator lesson. Too bad. Let me unplug my phone so I don't throw it. Too bad it was worthless. Because let me show you what I got on my laptop after doing it. Uh, let me pull that back up. There we go. It was 10 and 5. With spikes all over the place. So, my final conclusion is, HP never fixed my damn laptop. I mean, it works, but doesn't work right. I've been, I've been wondering why I've been dropping frames all over the place. Whenever I'm streaming and stuff. I mean, I had to stop, I wasn't able to stream today because of this shit. So, if you're wondering what computer I'm using right now, it's my grandfather's that I installed Ubuntu on. I just grabbed it because it's a, uh, uh, what I call a slime line computer, um, but it's a slim line computer, and I essentially just grabbed it, tossed it on my bed, plugged in the power, uh, the same internet cable as this black, the same Vulcan, I believe, black cable, same thing. So, I'm going to do some cable management, do a beauty shot for you guys, not of me, not of Rusty Red, because yes, this still is with Rusty Red. I'm happy I'm building my own system. And honestly, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to buy a Microsoft Service Pro. I'm going with Chromebook. Chromebook, $200. Save the rest for a fucking iPhone. Because this is getting ridiculous. So, I'm going to do another cut in the video. It literally has been about an hour in real time. So, Deep breaths. Deep breaths, people. So I'm gonna cut the video here real fast and then come back and do some beauty b-roll with me trying not to kill people. So, BRB. Alright, so I may have made some adjustments to the recordings to make it seem really jumpy and non-linear. The original recording that showed me crimping the cables was actually so choppy that I couldn't edit it. I am sorry for anyone who wanted to see that, and if you want me to still show you how, I will gladly make a tutorial later in the series, um, because I will have to run additional cabling and stuff. But that is sadly all for this episode. If you liked or disliked, you know what to do. Um, if you want to comment, you can do that too. Our support links are also in the description below. If you want to help us out, also while you're down there, don't forget to smack the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for the rest of the series. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>